You know, you're getting old when you watch Home Alone and wonder how much their mortgage is. 2024, school will be closed due to high winds. 1980s, tornado happening. Go in the hall and put a book on your head. Also, we're having pizza for lunch. None of the new Willy Wonka movies have understood that Gene Wilder's version of Wonka worked because you felt like there was a real chance he was just going to sit there and watch those kids on a live. When you're a good boy, but your friends get you into some sketchy <laughs> These ladies in the supermarket thought I was crazy because I yelled to them, Thank you for being a friend. Kids today will never know where this man lives. Up until the day he passed, Jim Varney weathered cancer treatment, dressed up as Ernest, and visited terminally ill children at hospitals. What's your guys' favorite Ernest movie? Drop it in the comments. In the 80s, this was our Netflix. Yeah, and if you wanted to watch them, you had to sit in front of the TV. You couldn't just watch them on your phone, wherever you went. Can't be the only one who remembers these. 1953. 2023. History repeats itself. Yeah, when I started seeing vinyl records showing back up at Walmart, along with the new record players, I just thought it was funny. Everything that's old is new again. My Burger King toy from the 90s. Back when everybody was trying to imitate Transformers. Who remembers? If you don't know this game, you had a sad childhood. That was a really fun game. Sometimes they do make a sequel that lives up to the original. Yeah, the first two or three were pretty good. I didn't like this last one though. Soda always hit harder when you were drinking out of one of these at Pizza Hut. And if enough of you all got the same drink like Pepsi, they just bring the whole picture to the table. No introduction needed. It seemed like growing up, almost everybody had one of these on their coffee table. Yep, certainly did. I remember this when I was a kid. We lived in Kentucky and we had black walnut trees. And you couldn't crack them with these, you'd have to use a ball peen hammer to crack them open. But the little picks were great. I have black walnut trees where I live now, but I just usually don't have the patience to sit there and try to pick the pieces out of them. 80s hair. The wind never stood a chance. How many cans of hairspray do you think she used? This is when Aquanet became a Fortune 500 company. Wilt Chamberlain, Arnold Schwarzenegger, and Andre the Giant. Conan the Destroyer set, 1984. It's pretty funny how small Arnold looks here. You know you're still wondering what Dr. Claw looks like. That is true. I used to watch Inspector Gadget all the time as a kid. What did you enjoy most about Saturday as a kid? Cartoons, Soul Train, Kung Fu, playing outside. You know, I've briefly mentioned before in past videos about how cartoons today are used for propaganda and indoctrination. Well, they did the same thing back then. This cartoon right here is a perfect example. Talk about a straight up lie. That's not really how a bill becomes a law. The only thing they try to do is, well, hang on a second. This is how a bill becomes a law. The only thing they're trying to hash out is how much is it going to take and whose pocket is it going in. I'm this old. Yeah, notice how all of them are right at the edge of the desk because you're trying to look down to see whose shoes it is walking by. Yeah, I'm still listening to 80s music in my 50s. So what? Verdi Bird. I love this toy. Every family has a cousin Eddie. If you don't know who, it might be you. Tips for improving concentration. Make a list of tasks. Take on one task at a time. Take on me was a fun song. Oh, I found a video. McDonald's in the 1980s. That yeah, pretty much sums it up. Even they got in on the little transformer trend. The only one I remember is the french fries because I actually had that one. You can still hear the sound this ball made when it hits you. Me in the 80s. These graphics are so real. The graphics. Them. When did you start listening to grunge rock? Me. You're 10 years old and it's Sunday evening. These TV dinners just came out of the oven. The family's in the den ready to eat on rickety TV trays and watch a National Geographic Jacques Cousteau special. Followed by the wonderful world of the Disney. 
followed by the wonderful world of Disney. And Mom's got stuff for root beer floats later. Yeah, even the TV dinners were better back then, man. What TV show was your favorite when you were a kid? I don't know. As far as a actual weekly TV show goes, and not just cartoons or stuff, I'd probably have to say the rerun to the Andy Griffith show, to be honest. I used to watch that all the time as a kid. That's probably not what most of you are thinking. We had a TV with a VHF and UHF antenna, and that was just one of the good TV shows that was on the channels that we got at the time. What was your guys' favorite TV show? Drop it down in the comments. Today I learned Betty Boop and Aunt Bethany were the same person. I had a similar meme in some of my past videos about Mae Castell, and I found out from some of you guys she also voiced Olive Oil and Little Audrey. It's always little things like this that just kind of connect the dots when you finally find them out. When you think of Tom Cruise, what's the first movie you think of? First one that comes to my mind, of course, is Top Gun. That was a great movie. Well, now we know where they got the idea from. Remember wearing a beeper and pulling out the Alpine so nobody would steal it? And then, my childhood drove by. Yeah, no kidding. They must have been taking them to a museum or somewhere. I would have just liked to have Herbie, let alone the time machine. Carjacker who couldn't drive a manual car dispensed the lead by car owner. It isn't often that the inability to drive a stick leads to a lead dispenser fight. That's apparently what happened in San Antonio. I just found this funny and just had to throw it in here. It's hard to believe how manual stick shift transmissions have almost faded out of existence. My brain when someone says, <laughs> Yeah, I was just talking to one of you guys in the comments section today and you mentioned that, that if you couldn't find a milk grade that someone would lay on the ground and hold the board. I'd forgotten about this, but I witnessed it a few times. But no, there was no way I was going to be that person because I knew what my friends would probably try to do. Thank you, Hannah Barbara. Do you remember when? Yeah, back when cartoons were still pretty good. How many of you know what movie this is from? Put it in the comments. Things nobody said in the 1980s. I lost my phone. Yeah, that's for certain. That's one thing you never had to worry about. If you never ate one of these, I don't want to hear you say you started from the bottom. A fried beef bologna on toast? Those were great. Or have it with eggs and hash browns. Made a great breakfast. When things used to be so simple. Them. How many push-ups can you do? Me. If they're orange flavor, I know for a fact I can do seven of them in one sitting. There are literally no rules saying your New Year's resolutions can't be for evil. I don't know why, but that fits Bert. My father raising me. My father with my kids. Eddie Murphy makes his return as Axel Foley in Beverly Hills Cop 4, coming to Netflix in summer 2024. With how movies are today, I don't know if this will be any good or not, but I'd actually like to see this. If you grew up in the 80s, you know there was nothing scarier than this guy's voice telling you about scary stuff that nobody solved. Yeah, my mom used to watch this all the time. I thought that was Freddy Cougar for a second. If you don't recognize this film, we can't be friends. That is one of the classics. Like some of you guys said in the comments of some past videos, it was the Snorks that basically replaced the Smurfs. And for some of the reasons that you guys talked about. Speaking of comments, I do read all the comments that you guys post. And I greatly appreciate all the Acorn Stash fam here on the channel. I enjoy the conversations I've had with some of you, as well as all the responses and the other topics you guys add to the channel. I have been trying to take some of the ideas and the topics that you guys bring up and integrate it into future videos. Um, while I'm at it, I'll address one other thing. There's been a few times in the videos that I'll show something and I'll just ask you guys if you know about it. 
because I just don't remember it. Or there's been also been a few times that I've had something wrong and you guys have corrected me in the comments and that's a good thing. I appreciate it. I have had a few negative comments about that. I'm not gonna bother mentioning them here or anything. Uh, there has been a few times when I, you know, somebody would ask, you know, how could I possibly not remember whatever the topic was? And there was some other things that were said, and that's fine too, no big deal. Um, I have mentioned a few times in the videos that my memory isn't the greatest. And during a few conversations in the comments, I have told a few people why. Basically, back in 2019, I suffered a head injury from a forklift, and that resulted in a TBI. I mean, we all go through things in life, and it is what it is. Um, I've had to deal with a number of issues from this. Uh, one of which is my memory. Uh, the only reason I'm still here though is because the Heavenly Father didn't allow me to be unalived. And that's just a simple fact and I'm thankful for every day. But because of some of the issues that I was dealing with, it was about a year and a half or so before I was cleared to even be able to drive again. And of course during all of that was the uh, thing that happened during 2020 and 2021 that you can't mention the name of it here on YouTube without running the possibility of giving a video flag. If you guys haven't figured out, that's why I use a lot of sensor type words like unalive. Just trying to reduce the possibility of any videos getting flagged or anything. I've actually had one video demonetized already and I don't even know why. But regardless, through all of that stuff and then inflation and everything else that's going on, we all know that everyone's having a hard time trying to just keep up with the bills and everything month to month. So I've been trying to figure out some way of bringing in a little extra money every month on the side. And last year I was watching a couple of my favorite YouTube channels. Uh, you guys probably know them. Uh, Z Education and Vascal. And I was watching a video one day and I just thought, you know, maybe I could make a YouTube channel. So last July, I began to try to figure out what to do and started making my first video, which I posted either the end of July or the 1st of August, which was a really awful video, by the way. But since then, I've continued to work at it, and I think I'm getting a little better. You guys seem to enjoy them. I didn't know if I'd ever make it to a 1,000 subscribers for the longest time. It seemed such a huge goal. But, because of you guys, back on December the 10th, I hit 1,000 subscribers. And shortly after, was able to get monetized by YouTube. Which was a really huge thing here for the channel. But then, just a few days ago, I think it was on January 17th. I haven't even posted this yet, but we just hit 2,000 subscribers here on the channel. So, thanks to everybody here, all the Acorn Stash fam, the channel is beginning to grow. Most of the videos are slowly starting to pick up in views, which is great. There was one particular video that was episode 10 of the Gen X series. I just kind of blew up overnight. Within just a couple of days, it had 80,000 views, which is by far my most viewed video on the channel. And it's all because of you guys. Whenever you smash the like button, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and make comments, that tells the YouTube algorithm that a lot of people like the video, and therefore it sends it out to more people. So I really thank you guys for doing those things, as they really help to support and grow the channel. But let's continue on with the video. Pick an 80 starter pack. You cannot swap out anything. Man, with not being able to swap anything, that makes it hard. I would pick A, but I can't stand Pepsi Free. So I guess my next choice would be C. Final answer. Is this not the coolest lead dispenser ever? Bonus if you know what movie this was in. These styrofoam labels on glass bottles that were so satisfying to peel off. How many people think the soda in a glass bottle with a bottle cap was a lot better than the sodas we got today? Now I'd say a major part of that is the ingredients. Because today it's all corn syrup and a lot of other chemicals. Don't try to explain yourself to stupid people. You're not the <coughs> whisper. What movies come to mind when you see this man? When a cougar gets so old she needs a hearing aid, she becomes a deaf leopard. That's just moving on. I'm this old. 
I think this must be for some of you later millennials. Popcorn out of this thing was living. Awkward family photos. If you had one of these in the 80s, you were one of the cool kids. Some days I remember that Wyona Ryder, the dark princess of Gen X, the coolest of the cool, is known among many younger folks as the mom from Stranger Things. I keep seeing this TV show mentioned all the time. I've never seen it. Some of y'all never read 100 books to get a personal pan pizza, and it shows. It's real. Yeah, looks like it's real. But the real question is, can the average man with a normal salary still be able to afford this house? Unlikely. If you remember this, your childhood was awesome. What age were you when you first realized Barney Rubble was Captain Caveman? I was today years old because I never knew it until I saw this meme. I was looking for these in my house during my childhood. Yes. Yes, I did. Let's confuse the kids. Whoever deciphers this, do not post the actual message in the comments, please. Did you know that the narrator for Kevin's voice was one of the wet bandits? Shout out to everyone born between 1980 to 1985. You've been Gen X, Gen Y, a millennial, the Oregon Trail generation, a zillennial, an elder millennial, and now a, checks notes, geriatric millennial. This is true, guys. Welcome to the channel. Man, this has the early 1980s written all over it. If I just had corduroy masks, this would be 1980s camouflage. Kids today are soft. I unalived once when I was five, and my mom made me walk it off. If you remember this house, your childhood was out of this world. I hate it when I see some old person, and then realized we went to high school together. When I was a kid, we moved kind of back and forth between Indiana and Kentucky. I went to high school in Kentucky, then moved to Indiana shortly after I graduated, and now I live in Missouri. So I don't ever have to worry about it, seeing any of the people I went to school with. The world's best archaeologist destroys every ancient temple he enters. This is basically the premise of every one of those movies. Woodgrain, the bling of the 80s. That's an absolutely true statement. If you could spend a day with one person from the 80s, who would it be? I'd have to say my grandmother. By the way, you still owe Columbia House for those 30 cassettes you got for one cent in 1985. And don't forget all the CDs that you got from BMG Music to replace all of those cassettes. And Home Alone, the vintage gangster movie that Kevin watches, called Angels with Filthy Souls, isn't a real movie. It's only a one minute scene created for Home Alone. I didn't know this. I actually thought that was from an old movie. You had one job. And you nailed it. I absolutely did. That's great. The annual meeting of time travelers. Those days on the playground when you were convinced you were going to unalive. True fans of the 80s knows what this wolf man has. Drop it in the comments. I was recently asked who my favorite vampire was. I said, the Muppet from Sesame Street. They told me, he doesn't count. I replied, I assure you, he does. Yeah, literally. Dad, I can't swim. Not with that attitude. Parents of the 80s. If this video brought you a smile, please share it with someone else. Check out my other videos here on the channel, stored in Acorn Stash. I thank you all for watching, everyone stay safe, and I hope this video has brightened up your day. Until next time, this is Acorn, signing off.